Hi there, my name is Sophie Lalonde and I'm a group product manager over here at Product Board, the customer-centric product management platform that helps organizations get the right products to market faster. I'm very excited to talk today about product discovery, one of my own personal favorite topics. Coding features, it's hard and it's expensive, yet many teams only learn they've made a false assumption about what users really need once their feature goes live and is underutilized, a waste of valuable time and resources. So what if we invested more time in researching and validating ideas up front before we ever sent them to delivery? We call this product discovery and it complements and precedes the step of product delivery. Product discovery is a process that helps product teams refine their ideas by deeply understanding real user problems and then iterating on the best ways to solve them. At Product Board, we use the Double Diamond Framework to conduct product discovery. The Double Diamond Framework can help you understand underlying user needs, define challenges you want to solve, and explore potential solutions to push to delivery. And the rest of the video will break down the Double Diamond Framework step by step. The product discovery process starts with identifying broad challenges that you want to solve with your product. Whatever your team lands on, you should be looking at the big picture at this point, high level, not the specifics. During the challenge identification stage, you understand and define what you want to solve for your customers. At this stage of trying to understand underlying user needs, product teams rely heavily on quantitative and qualitative research. Some useful tools and techniques to employ here include user research, focus groups, observation, customer interviews, data analytics, empathy mapping, and much more. Once you understand that user needs and you feel like you have a good grasp on that, you must clearly define them because you need to explain them to everyone else. Aim to nail down your problem in just one sentence. In Product Board's case, a defined problem could look like the following. As a product manager, I need to communicate with different stakeholders differently. That problem statement is something that should resonate as something that can be hard for that persona to do. A sentence like this helps you communicate clearly with your team and aligns them around a common cause. You'll also want to validate that you're actually working on problems that need to be solved. How big is the pain point that your users are experiencing? How much value will tackling the pain truly add? Finally, prioritize which of the identified problems you should tackle first. This is where I recommend working with product execs and leaders, and there's several popular frameworks you can leverage to start prioritizing. At Product Board, we often look at value versus complexity, Kano, Rice method, etc. After you isolate specific user problems, it's best to reframe them into chunks that can be more realistically solved. For Product Board, the broad problem we spelled out above can be reframed and narrowed down into a bit of the following. Mid-market companies experience limitations with Product Board's public portal because they want to communicate with multiple audiences at once. You can see that it's more narrow. You can see we talk about a specific persona. And this is when you're going to start to ideate, prototype, and think about potential solutions. So, you ideate to figure out how you plan to solve your users' problems. This is where your team can get very creative with innovation exercises and other techniques. We're talking brainstorming, mind mapping, storyboard, running design sprints. I want you to think about like the light bulb emoji on top of your head. You propose ideas so your team can start gauging the feasibility once you've been creative. And that's when you get to prototyping. Prototyping enables teams to demonstrate their ideas and really help them bring to life. There are many ways of doing prototypes, which could be sketches, mock-ups, clickable prototypes, MVPs. I think I've even done one on a napkin. But learning about the prototypes is important. We have it on our blog. Look at the link in our description below. Testing determines whether or not the proposed solutions are capable of solving the problem. Popular tools and techniques include A-B testing, customer interviews, product beta testing. The point here is to get early validation on your ideas before deciding on a final solution, really helping de-risk. Finally, we reach the end of the Double Diamond Framework, presenting potential solutions to stakeholders and users to earn buy-in and drive alignment. In Product Board's case, this means working with product leadership, 
delivery teams, and cross-functional teams. Remember, nothing is actually built yet at this point, and getting to a solution can still take numerous iterations because you want to be absolutely sure about the products and features that you deliver for your customers. So going back to our earlier example, here's a viable solution that we landed on. Let's enable customers to build multiple portals so they can communicate with each of their audiences in different ways. At this stage, it's likely that you'll move on to delivery, though not necessarily with the finalized design. Your solution is still rough and around the edges. So in summary, here is how Product Board evolved this double diamond product discovery process. We first said, very broad problem. Product managers, they really need to communicate with different stakeholders differently, and we know that that's an important pain point. We then focused a bit more. We said mid-market companies, they experience limitation with Product Board's public portal because they want to share and validate their ideas with multiple audiences at once. And then we started coming up with a solution. Let's enable customers to build multiple portals so they can share and validate their ideas with each of their audiences differently. And in case you were wondering, you can now create multiple product portals in Product Board. Go check it out, it's one of my favorite features. We wanted to share this framework for product discovery because many product teams spend most of their time working on solutions rather than working on problems. However, skipping the discovery process can lead to teams shipping the wrong things, resulting in products and features that miss the mark and go unused. And of course, we all want our products to succeed so that our products can matter. By using this framework and following its steps, our team has built an environment of continuous learning that benefits both our internal teams and our external users. We've also increased transparency into our entire product management process and involved a diverse set of stakeholders. We hope you find as much value in it as we have. If you've liked this video, please like, subscribe, or leave a comment, you know, all the YouTube things. To learn more about product discovery, check out our new ebook. We will be linking it in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching.